Well, last night, the Festival of Lights began as the Jewish community started the celebration of Hanukkah. And for many, it's a holiday of great food. So here to show us some amazing modern Jewish recipes is New York Times bestselling author and City Harvest Council member Jake Cohen. Welcome. Hello, I bet that never gets old. New York never. Times bestselling author. Oh, well, it's done, so good done, to see you. It. But listen, before we get to all this food, I just want to talk about, you know, this is a season of giving back. You're yeah. working with City Harvest. Tell me about what they do, why they're important, and, you know, who they are. Well, as a born and bred New Yorker, I'm very like focused on my community and like yeah. giving back within that. And I think it's incredible to be thinking nationally and globally, but I want to always be thinking start at home. about my neighbors. Yes. And City Harvest is such an incredible organization for the last 40 years. They are the first and largest yeah. food rescue organization. They've saved like a billion pounds of food it's crazy. and help redistribute it to food pantries and people who need it, which yeah. is so incredible. Yeah, so in addition to giving back, um, your first cookbook was like giving people this new take on Jewish cuisine. When did you start experimenting? Because it's like, it's it's like with a twist. It's like new, fresh, yeah. modern. I love it. I think this was the first time when I started cooking the food of, of my family, of my childhood. It's the first time I really start to, started to feel like I was adding to the conversation. Yeah. And I, I don't take myself very seriously. I always say Which like... Which is what I love about you. First and foremost, <laughs> my job title is clown. So yeah. it's just like, yeah, I'm going to do things and I'm going to do them how I think everyone else will enjoy them. And, and well, and guess what? Everyone else did enjoy them yeah. because that's how you got to be a New York Times bestselling author. But let's talk about some of the food because you brought some of your dishes, some of your recipes today. We're going to yeah. start with the schmaltzy Chex Mix, yeah. which I saw on your social media. So I'm excited. I'm going to learn how to make it. So it, it really is a play. So, so funny. So pe many people think that to make it, you have to open a bag of Chex Mix. But no, we are making it from <laughs> scratch. So we have our three so types. Much better of, this way. Exactly. Three yeah. types of Chex, corn, rice, and wheat. And then over here, here, typically yep. you'd use oil. We're using schmaltz. Yeah. It is a Jewish Ashkenazi staple. It's rendered chicken fat, typically flavored with a little onion. It's so unctuous. Where do you and get great. it? Yeah, you can get it online. You get it from the kosher butcher, a lot of okay. specialty stores. All right. Um, but I love it. So we're going to add in some onion powder, it's thyme, a... oregano, and salt. It's got just like the, a mild smell of yes. it. So it, because it's rendered, because it's so clean and, and probably. Um, and then we're uh, strained so many times or something that let's And really then we're going to zest in some lemon zest and garlic. Again, okay. and you can adjust this how you like. If you like it spicy, throw in some chili flakes, yeah. whatever herbs you got on hand. I'm a big believer in just like you do you. Don't take yourself too seriously. And I love anything with some uh, lemon zest because it really brightens up the flavors of everything. Especially with all of this chicken fat. You need you a need little bit of brightness. You need brighten it up. I know I should have done the whole lemon, but I don't want to waste no, my no, time. No, no, no. This is perfect. Okay. And then... So, and then I always, um, I always do this with my garlic too, yes. when you don't, because you don't want to get a big bite of garlic, especially with my kids. They don't want a big bite of garlic, so, so just grating it is exactly. a great thing to do. Exactly, it kind of mellows out in the fat. So now we're going to add in our checks, some bagel chips and pretzels. And, and then this. this, and then I want you to tell me about all this stuff we've got over here too. Yeah. But first up, we're going to mix this up, and then what I would do is I would throw this onto a sheet pan. 275 degree oven for 45 minutes, low and slow, just to let it crisp up. And then that's it. And then that's it. And you can get some of your treats on Gold Belly too, nice. right? Oh my I, God. I do challah, babka, black and white cookies. Everything is kosher and par. So it's just, I want to make sure that people can send some love and everyone can enjoy it. So I really love that. I love that too. And then we have olive oil cake, right? So the whole point is everyone loves jelly donuts, soufgani oat. And for me, this is kind of a play on that. It's a, a jelly swirled olive oil cake with and powdered sugar, super easy, one bowl, uh, and then obviously classic latkes, but I add saffron, and that mm. gives it a little bit of a twist since my husband's Persian Iraqi Jewish. Oh my God, this is my lunch today. Thank you very much. And to learn more or donate, please visit cityharvest.org and visit Jake's website, Wake and Jake, I love it, <laughs> dot com for even more delicious recipes. And follow him on social media too.